Hello everyone, I'm Candace, aka Geeky Candy, here bringing you an article from WeGotThisCovered.com, one of Jeremy's favorite sources, I might add. And uh, yes, this article I would consider rumor right now. Um, it does have unidentified sources, and sometimes those can get sticky, so we'll go ahead and just call it rumor for now. But let's dive into it and see what is going on now with Mr. George. George Lucas was reportedly angry about Palpatine's return in Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. The subject of George's feelings about The Force Awakens became clear this year with the release of Disney CEO Bob Iger's new book. In it, he outlined the Star Wars creator's criticisms about Episode 7, specifically that he felt J.J. Abrams relied too heavily on nostalgia and didn't innovate enough. With Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker out this very month, we've now heard about Lucas's reactions to Abrams' second Star Wars movie, and it seems they're very much the same. Sources close to We Got This Covered, the same ones who told us Leia would be Rey's new trainer in the film, and who revealed Rey and Palpatine's special connection, both of which have been since confirmed, have told us that George Lucas was extremely unhappy. In fact, Angry is the term we've heard with the return of Emperor Palpatine in The Rise of Skywalker. Sources say that Lucas appreciated how Ryan Johnson did something different and fresh with The Last Jedi and was so disappointed in Abrams for simply borrowing from his films again in order to bring Ian McDermott's villain, uh, McVillain back. That's all we've heard on the matter for now, but this is intriguing to learn, uh, given the knowledge that Lucas was consulted on Rise in the first place. Abrams has spoken before about how he went back to the source, as it were, in order to make sure he had the right ideas about how to conclude the Skywalker saga, how to bring the legend that began in A New Hope to a close. This suggested that Lucas would be more on board with the director's decisions in this film, but apparently that's not the case. After all, this is Abrams' movie, so if he felt that the best course of action was to resurrect Darth Sidious, then that's what he would do, even if he did respect Lucas' opinion. The revelation that Lucas is a fan of The Last Jedi may also come as a surprise to those who felt that Johnson betrayed his vision for Luke in the franchise. In any case, we'll have to see whether we agree with George Lucas or not when Star Wars The Rise of Scott Skywalker hits theaters on December 20th. Okay. <laughs> so apparently George liked The uh, the Last Jedi. Um, yeah, that is... Uh, that's weird <laughs> to me. Um, but I'm not surprised that he would be upset about... Palpatine. I mean, he created Palpatine to die, and he's not dead now. So <laughs> I don't understand the creative decision behind that. Perhaps it's because I haven't seen the movie. Uh, I really don't want to see the movie to understand it, though. So I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> but that's the situation I'm in. Uh, you know, it feel like uh, even though uh, George may be upset or angry, as they said here. He's doing all right. He literally just bought a $25 million beachfront home in California next to his beachfront home in California. So, you know, although this might anger him, his pockets are not empty. And I'm sure that certainly pleases him. With all that being said, I look forward to my next video with you guys soon. Until next time, I'll see you later, fandom. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.